Because it's the one of Oliver, okay? Thank you. Okay, we start. I will start with a question. Can crisis be an opportunity? I would like to give a very clear answer to this question. Yes. Just on touch on our company for a moment, I founded Drive-In as a mechanical engineering company. We do not develop our own products, but rather provide industrial services. The year was 2009. The financial crisis began with the real estate crisis in the United States. The first clear sign was in the decline of the share prices of the two largest US mortgage lenders, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The crisis spread quickly to Europe. In Germany, the prices of hyper real estate fall through the floor. Even here, only a billionaire can loan the federal government enough to save a gravely ill company. The market prices in Europe and in the USA continued to fall. The New York Stock Exchange listed its blackest day in 20 years. A large number of customers were affected. A sales decline of 58% was reported the previous months. The unemployment rate in Aachen during this time grew to 9%. Additionally, some 200 companies and about 3,000 employers were affected by short-time work. And how did the situation look at Drive-In? We had just bought our own business property, and at the same time, one of our major customers suffered a downtown, and suddenly there were no orders. So we experienced an 80% drop in sales. We were fortunate to have had the resources on hand to be able to cope with the situation. We had prepared ourselves for growth and didn't want to change our plans. We also didn't want to let any of our people go. Nevertheless, we had to deal with an almost empty order book. After years of success, we were faced with a crisis situation that we never expected. We had to ask ourselves the question of existence. How are we supposed to survive this crisis? Since we had no orders, but we didn't have the new operation building, as well as lots of responsibilities and obligations, including not waiting to lose any of our value employers in a crisis, we needed another way to generate added value. So we identified the skills we actually had on board which we are not utilizing in our normal, everyday business. How could we employ our people in an efficient, profitable way that was beneficial for both? The answer was fascinating. We discovered our staff had additional skills, skills we needed at this time, painters, tile layers, driver construction experts, and so the staff got busy. So even through revenue declines, we at Drive-In began to redesign and reconstruction of our building. We were able to employ our people meaningfully and pursue our plans without having to hire external trade companies. At the same time, we realized we had to develop new business. Here too, we believed in our capabilities and determined via a SWOT analysis the competences, skills and markets, which in our opinion showed potential. Door to door was our motto. With excellent skills on board and a clear strategy, we went and knocked on the doors of the key industries of the urban region of Aachen. Through direct acquisition, in the manufacturing industry, we were able to grow our core business area of special machines for large customers in stage. The collaboration with University Applied Science, where I have been committed personally for many years as a lecturer, and RWTH University in various research projects has helped us to find other interesting contexts. To the participation in research projects, we have added to our excellent reputation. Our new strong business profile, which carried us through acquisitions and brought us positive results, has helped us to overcome crisis. The orders came in, one of our main customers in the semiconductor industry recovered and gave us more work than before. The customers we acquired during this time are now our regular customers. 
the numbers are going up. We at Drivin, along with our valued employers, are smiling. Our creative approach was not on only financially successful, but our name has come into the public view. In the year 2010, we received the award by Professor Lothar Späth as one of Germany's top 100 companies for the creative approach and for the way we tackled the economic crisis. Incidentally, we are very proud to have received this award again in 2011. We were pleased and happy that we have retained all our staff through the crisis. Our sense of community has grown enormously. Today, Drivin is looking for skilled professionals as we have built a new hall and doubled our production capacity. The company is growing and our order volume is increasing as our sales goes evolve. But we need new ideas. So, in September 2011, Drivin became part of the Institute of Applied Science Aachen, the Institute for Innovative Maschinenbau, short IFIM, was founded. This leads to opportunities to conduct our own research and development takes and in turn to supervise students with their bachelor and master programs. Another milestone in the history of Drive-In Company. Is crisis also an opportunity? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? If you ask me, I can absolutely and without a doubt answer the question with a yes. We have therefore taken the opportunity to strengthen the cooperation between science and industry and have all benefited from it. Also, drive in. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>